Hi, third grade. <clears throat> this is a lesson on equivalent fraction chains. Now, equivalent fractions, that just means one or more fractions that are equal to each other. And if two fractions are equal, uh, that means they're worth the same amount. Like, for example, if I look at one half here, some of these fractions line up with one half. Like fifths, that doesn't line up because it cuts right through the middle of one of them. And thirds, that doesn't count either. But look, fourths, that ends right where one half ends. So I can say one half is the same as one two fourths. Are do any are there any others that land right? Oh, that one does one two three sixths. Let's see if there's any more. Oh, eighths does too. Wow, a lot of these are the same. Four eighths. Now this right here is called an equivalent fractions chain. When you put them all together in a chain like this, that's an equivalent fractions chain. Now I couldn't put that one half is equal to like two thirds. That doesn't work because one half ends right here, but two thirds ends right here. Those are not the same. I'm looking for fractions that are the same. So if you look at today's page, they want you to, underneath all the dots, they want you to write the fraction. So this is halves. So under here I'm going to write one half. This is one third. So this is going to be two thirds. If I wanted to, I could even write three thirds over here. And two halves over here. In fact, why don't you do that? Then same, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths, one sixth, I think you get the picture. And then once you line them all up, you'll be able to see which ones line up. For example, I wrote on top of it, but this is one third. That one doesn't line up, but this one does. That's one sixth, two sixths those two line up. Then it says write an equivalence chain with fractions that equal two halves. What are the other fractions that are equal to two halves? Why are the fractions in the equivalence chain for two halves equal? Hmm, we'll have to think about that. Why does the length of the unit fraction grow smaller as their denominators get larger? See how Every time the bottom number gets bigger, the piece gets a little smaller. Why is that? Hmm. And now you're going to use this part here to help you with this part here. What are the fractions that are equal to one half? Well, we already did that. One half equals two fourths. That makes sense because two is half of four equals four eighths. That makes sense because four is half of eight. This is called an equivalence chain. So all of the fractions, anything that lines up, what's equal to two thirds? Hmm, interesting, interesting. And then we've got a couple word problems down here. And you can use this to help you. When it says Nancy buys three-sixths of a pound, but Sandra buys three-fourths of a pound. Go find it. Here's three-sixths. Here's three-fourths. Which one's bigger? Hmm, hmm, I wonder which one's bigger. Uh, okay, scholars, good luck. Again, this is equivalent fractions.